Hello boys and girls, welcome to Storytime Fun. I dedicate this next story to my grandchildren, Ethan, Denver, Summer, and Violet, whom I love to have fun with. Today's story is out of the Walt Disney Productions Three Favorite Tales book. And today's story is called The Princess on the Pea. Once there was a prince named Mickey. Since he was a prince, he wanted to marry a princess. But she must be a real princess, he said. He spent many years searching for a real princess, but he was never able to find one, find one he liked. So he came home to his parents' castle. One night, a terrible storm was raging. Rain poured down and lightning flashed. Suddenly there was a knock at the castle door. Mickey's father went to open it. There stood a stranger dripping wet. May I come in? asked the stranger. Of course, said the good king. My name is Princess Minnie, the stranger said. I was out riding and got caught in the storm. Prince Mickey heard the word princess, and he came in to see who was there. Minnie smiled at the prince. Mm, how handsome he is, she thought. Mickey smiled back at her. How pretty she is, he thought. Did you say your name is Princess Minnie? asked Mickey. Yes, said Minnie. Are you a real princess? Mickey asked. Of course, said Minnie, nodding her head and spraying the king with water. <laughs> I hope she is a real princess, thought Mickey. Meanwhile, Mickey's mother, the queen, was listening at the door. That wet dish rag doesn't look like a princess to me, she said, but we'll soon find out. The queen went to make up a bed for the princess. First, she put a tiny pea under a thick mattress. Then, she put four more mattresses on top of the first one. She kept adding more and more mattresses to the bed. Good, said the queen at last. Now the pea is under 20 mattresses. Only a real princess will be able to feel it. Later that night, Princess Minnie climbed on top of the 20 mattresses. She was very tired after riding so far in the storm. But somehow, the bed did not feel comfortable. Minnie turned on her right side, but she could not fall asleep. Then she turned on her left side. Still, she could not fall asleep. Maybe flat on my back would be better, she thought. But still, Minnie stayed wide awake. The next morning, Minnie ate breakfast with the king and the queen and the prince. Did you sleep well? asked Mickey. No, said Minnie. I did not sleep a wink. I was lying on something hard and it kept me awake all night. I'm quite black and blue all over. Then you must be a real princess, cried the queen. Only a real princess could have felt that pee. Prince Mickey had found his real princess at last. So he asked Princess Minnie to be his wife. And of course, she said yes. They had a real royal wedding and lived happily ever after. Well, that's it for today. See you next time.